Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Tuesday, October 10th, 2017. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The abortion industry is ramping up attacks in the wake of Trump's blow to Obamacare. Friday, the president issued a new measure broadening the exception to the HHS contraceptive mandate, which will no longer force those with moral objections to cover birth control for employees. Pro-aborts are howling, with women's magazines like Glamour, Vogue, and Elite publishing scary headlines claiming women may soon lose their birth control. And California, Massachusetts, and Washington state have filed lawsuits against the Trump administration, claiming the measure is unconstitutional. Thousands of ISIS militants are surrendering, and Kurdish officials are baffled as to why. Since Sunday before last, around 1,000 militants have turned themselves in at checkpoints in northern Iraq, one of their last strongholds. Interrogations reveal the militants don't know why ISIS leaders are telling them to quit, demoralizing them and causing them to believe this may be the end of the Islamic State. The mass surrender came only days before the anniversary of the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, marking the crushing defeat of Islamic forces at Lepanto in 1571. A new California law could punish people with jail time if they refuse to use a transgender's preferred pronoun. Signed by Governor Jerry Brown Thursday, the law focuses on transgenders in hospitals and retirement homes and punishes those who refuse to refer to people as the opposite sex with a fine of up to $1,000 or imprisonment of up to a year. Called the LGBT Senior Bill of Rights, the law also forces nursing homes to allow transgenders to use the bathroom of their choice, regardless of biological sex. A pro-life stewardess fired for her views is suing her airline. Charlene Carter was let go from her job with Southwest Airlines in March after she published a series of pro-life Facebook posts criticizing her union for paying for two dozen union members to attend the pro-abortion DC Women's March in January. Carter also filed a complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, arguing, quote, my sincere religious beliefs require me to share with others that abortion is the taking of human life. My employer discriminated against me on the basis of my sincerely held religious belief and speech. A London ordinance may soon ban pro-lifers from the public square. A London city council will debate the issue tomorrow after a pro-abortion group presented a petition claiming the pro-life advocates are harassing women entering the Marie Stopes abortion mill. A spokeswoman for the pro-life group is defending their 23 years of public advocating, saying they've never been guilty of harassment. Marie Stopes is the UK's largest abortion provider and was responsible for nearly 400 botched abortions in just two months earlier this year. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch the Vortex today. Michael talks about the final reality. And check out the download where the panel discusses a Vatican double standard. God bless you.